Hey guys, it's your favorite Unc here. Go ahead and click that subscribe button below so you don't miss a single episode of Nightcap. That button right here. Come for the sports, stay for the stories. Don Staley, a member of the United States Women's National Selection Committee, was asked about Caitlin Clark today. And she said, if mm -hmm. we had it to do all over again, the way that she's playing, uh -oh. she would be in really high consideration mm -hmm. of making the team because she's played head and shoulders above a lot of people. I thought Ugh. the job That's of tough. a coach is to project. Ocho, if I take right. a player in high school, is, am I saying that's the best he's going to be? Or I'm projecting right. in a week, a Dang. month, a year, they're mm -hmm. going to be right. better. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. I said it at the time. She has a huge, yes, a elite skill mm -hmm. of passing the ball. Now, she's averaging yes, 17 and 8. Could I see once she gets a, gets a another year or two under her belt, and she understands the physicality yeah. as she's starting to grow. Could I see her averaging another, mm -hmm. say, five, seven points and to bump that up to 22 mm -hmm. to 24 games while still averaging yeah. eight to 10 assists? Yes. Yes. She's that good, Ocho. She's mm -hmm. that good. Angel yeah. Reese. Yeah. Because, see, it's different. Ocho, it's different. The women's game and the men's game are different. I don't believe that, and I could, could mm -hmm. be wrong. But I don't believe there's 68, 69, 70 international women playing in the WNBA. There aren't any Lauren right. Jacksons. And I know you don't remember Lauren Jackson, Jackson, but she's a three-time mm -hmm. NBA. She's an Australian. But she was legit. She's a three-time MVP. She won the title. Mm -hmm. They're not those in the WNBA. They're right. not those on the international level. So Caitlin Clark going mm -hmm. or Angel Reese going, were they going to lose? We got the 10, we got the 10 best no. players in, in, in the Olympics on the women's side. We don't have the 10 best yeah. players on the men's side mm -hmm. because you have Nikola right. Jokic, because you have Giannis. Mm -hmm. That speaks for themselves. Mm -hmm. But I, I yeah, I'm a little surprised that she said that. Yeah. I mean, listen, what, what she's doing, what, what, we, what we know from Don Staley is she's going to give it to you raw. Pause. <laughs> she's going to tell right. you how she feels. She's going to say some of the things that most people won't say, whether it causes, uh, whether it ruffles right. some feathers or not. That's how she feels. She watched Caitlin Clark play in college. She's watched her mature and get better as a basketball player throughout the tenure of her short NBA WNBA career so far. So that's how she feels because she knows what she's seeing and she understood when they asked her a long time ago on how good she was and how great she was when she stood after a game and mm -hmm. applauded Caitlin, you know, on how she played and what she's done for the game in general. She can see that. Some of the things, some people don't want to see it. Some people right. don't want to say it. And Ms. Don Staley understands what not only was she bring to the game as a player, but what she could have done if she was on that, that well, USA team as did. well. Wouldn't they, didn't they sign a, what, a 10-year bill, a 10-year 200 uh a 2.2 billion dollar deal they, yeah yeah with, mm -hmm. with the potential to be three billion look at the sales mm. and the jersey the, the merchandise the jersey sales with caitlin clark right. and, and angel reese mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. hey man look here man I, you know what my brother always crazy. my brother tells me all the time ocho and he, this is one of the things that he shared with me he said there's no telling how good you can be as long as you don't mind who gets the credit Oof. He tells me that oh, that's one of the things that he he tells me all the time. He says, you don't know how good you can be if you don't care who gets the credit. Yeah. I Man, like, why I, like I care? That. Oh, now all they do is talk about Caitlin yeah. Clark and Angel Reese. Oh, you mean to tell me a uh, rookie rookie is about to make uh, 200,000 a year? Hey, Caitlin, how you uh -huh. doing, girl? girl? You know, I love me some Caitlin. Hey, Angel. Buy you Barbie, shot Town Barbie, yeah. however you want to mm -hmm. be, whatever you want to be known, Dad. Hold on, hold on. Get, get that to me one more time. Get that you one, don't to realize me one more time, how man. good you can be as long as you don't care who gets the credit. Yes, sir. I'm sure going to use that. I'm it is use true. That. I'm going to use you, that. You, see, you look at the teams. You look at teams, and it doesn't matter who gets the credit. Because right. eventually, if you start caring about who gets the credit, what's going to happen, Ocho? It's mm -hmm. going to break up. Yeah. It's going to break oh, up, yeah. Ocho. Most definitely. What Most happened definitely. to the Patriots? Most definitely. They had a 20-year run. Mm -hmm. What happened, Ocho? Yeah. 
Shaq yeah, and Kobe. Hey. Dominant. What happened, Ocho? Mm-hmm. You're right. It happens all it, it happens all the time. I, I I say it all the time. One of one of my favorite saying is always focus on your plate. Always focus, fo- always focus on your plate and don't worry about what, what's on mm-hmm. anybody else's plate. I can't eat that what's on your plate. I gotta eat what's on mine. What, what, oh, oh, you, you show sure can't. You show sure can't. Caitlin Clark already has more career assists than 75.4% of all of the players in the WNBA history. And she's only played 26 games. Who's gonna be surprised, That's though, crazy. Joe? When she hangs her, mm-hmm. her shorts and a jersey and her sneakers up, mm-hmm. that she's not the all-time mm-hmm. assist leader in WNBA history. I don't think anybody's going to be surprised yeah. by that. I'm going to no, be more surprised if she isn't, but I'm going to be that if than if she is. Right. Watching her, and I know it's look, I know it's an all-star game because you got elite level, and she is playing with Aaliyah Boston, who is the uh the reigning rookie mm-hmm. of the year. Um, uh, she's an all-star. And she can run the floor, and Caitlin sees her every time. Now, when you play with all stars, mm-hmm. you got a lot of number one draft picks, the top five picks, and she mm-hmm. she picking, she just fighting with the ball. Mm-hmm. But if you get open, yeah. oh, she gonna hit you strike. Oh, oh yeah, she gonna see you. Oh yeah, she gonna see you every time, every time. That, that listen, that's a gift. That's a gift. That's a gift that Magic Johnson had as well. That's a gift that LeBron yes. possesses as well. You know. He's an elite passer. He sees things yep. before they even happen. Yep. But good luck, the women. I look, the women look. Ocho, <laughs> we got Asia. Asia is by far the best player in the WNBA. She's far. Yeah. Then you got Stewie, who's mm-hmm. next. I mean, we got we got the best players. We do. Yeah. We do. Yeah. I believe uh, yeah. if we sent the WNBA all all stars, just those women that made the all star team, I still believe we win the gold medal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, most definitely, most definitely, most definitely. Yeah, I mean, either either way you take it, you send the all stars, you see, you send Team yeah. WNBA. I think yes. you would still get the same outcome. We'd yes. be coming home with gold no matter what because we are just we are. that good. I don't want to say dominant. We're just that good in general across the board. Uh, and you in U.S. women, Leela Rash- Marchand sets a new Olympic record, takes gold in the 400 meter IM. The 22 year old Frenchman, trained by Michael Phelps coach Bob Bowerman, went 402.95 to set an Olympic record, Ooh. breaking the one set by Michael Phelps in the Beijing Olympics in 2008. He was ahead of world record pace, but slowed a bit down the home stretch. Uh, Marchand earns the first Olympic gold medal of his career. And if I'm not mistaken, it was the yeah. first gold medal for France in the Paris Olympics, correct? Yeah. Japanese mm-hmm. Mashuda took silver. American Case, Case Carson Foster took the bronze. We, America, we got with one, two gold, mm-hmm. silver. American Tori Husky Husk won a first Olympic gold medal in dramatic Tory fashion, Husk. beating loaded field, including world record holder. In the hundred meter butterfly, Gretchen Walsh, her teammate, Gretchen Husk, Walsh, touched the wall fifty five point five nine. Uh, she held off uh, Gretchen Walsh, who touched point oh four seconds later. Yeah, mm. I love it. Hey, listen, some, something about something about that water, man. Something about that water. Obviously, I mean, I'm not sure if y'all had swimming. I don't think y'all had swimming pools where yeah, you were we growing up. I'm, I'm, th- I'm thinking. About- you, you, oh, come on. You know how to yeah. swim? Be honest. Don't, 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 don't lie, don't lie to me. Be honest. Yes. Black Michael yeah, okay, Phelps. Okay, okay, you, you swim. Oh, yeah. nah. See, I, I need to go there. Let me, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Out here in Liberty City, we have a park called Charles Hadley Pool. During the summer, we all went to the pool. I used to dive off the, off the, uh, off the high dive. I can swim. I can do the 100, breaststroke, butterfly. I can, I can swim backwards. Now, there was a time, there was a time and point where I was the inner city state champ at Liberty, at Charles Hadley Pool on how well I swam. I was like a dolphin. I mean, it's kind of hard to I, be. I, was, I, I swam you realize, like a dolphin. like the inner city, you can't be the state champ if you're just dealing with the city. I, I'm, I'm just saying, that's what we called That's First what we all, called it. We, we called it as Look, kids. I grew up swimming in as rivers as and in ponds, Ocho. See, uh, that ain't that ain't no swimming. That ain't that ain't no swimming. That what that, that, that ain't no swimming. That ain't that ain't a rip a yes. river pond. There ain't no ladder. There ain't now no you sides. You get your that, ass out there in the middle. 
Uh, that you so yeah, so you know yeah, how to swim. Yeah, to yeah, just make a long story so short. You know yes, swim. I can swim, Ocho. Okay, yeah. do me a favor. Mm -hmm. Do me a favor. On tour, while we on tour, whether it be Atlanta, whether it be Dallas, whether it be Houston, let's race. Oh, but, 100 meters, 50 Ocho, meters, whatever I you want to do. Ocho, all the places Ocho, we go, all, all the places, all the places to be going to are gonna have an Olympic size swimming pool. So let's let's do Ocho, it for the chat. Man. Me and you race. Ocho, I don't swim like that. But I can swim. Oh, okay. I can, okay, okay, okay. Could okay, I okay. save myself? I'll just let you know. Yes. Okay. Could I swim and get somebody else? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I I just I just I just want I just want you know what they used to call me? You know what they used to call me back then? What did they call you, Ocho. Huh? Boy, in 1987, boy, they called me Flipper. <laughs> I, I tell you no lie. They used to call oh, me Flipper because I feet? swim like a dolphin, boy. Now I ain't had no big feet. I don't wear nothing but uh -oh. a size 11, but I could I could, I could swim with I can swim with the best of them. Swim with the best of them. Listen, inner city champ, Charles Halley Poo, ask anybody. Anybody in the chat from Miami, anybody in the chat right now from Liberty City, tell them about me. I tell them about I, a legend. I tell I'm a legend I could in the pool. do. I probably could drown what? you though. Oh no. You can't, you can't drown. You can't, you can't drown me. You can't drown me. Listen. What you gonna I, do, listen, Ocho? You, you don't if understand. I get my hands on you out there the deep. But you li you little unk. All I have to do is continue to relax. I can stay underwater okay, by four minutes. minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, I'm telling you, I had I had the lung, I had the lungs, I had the lungs okay. of a hippo. I got the lungs of a hippo. I'm telling you, it was one time, right? You know, real, uh, real yeah. paratrooper. You know, she yeah. was in the army, right? And I had the opportunity to go train with the Navy SEALs for two weeks. And I I went through I went through the boot camp. What Navy SEALs trained like, at Ocho? Oh man, what, what Navy SEALs trained huh? at? I was in Paris Island. That's where the Marines train. The Navy SEALs yeah, trained at Coronado Beach. they had joined beach. together. Nah, and you see, you know, I couldn't go to the beach because all, all the SEALs was there. <laughs> nah, the, the SEALs had migrated they took and they the took beach. on the beach, okay. so everybody oh, had to join oh, together Marines over in Paris Island. Oh, you talking about the first yeah, SEALs? Yeah, not, not the oh, Navy SEALs. I'm talking okay. about like okay. SEAL SEALs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, listen, I do, I do a little yeah, bit of Paris everything, Island. bro. Paris Island, I know about Paris Island because that's what I'm talking about. The saying that. Yeah, yeah. They, they bad they over there. They, they don't play, boy. The saying oh, that. They don't play. In Savannah, anybody from that area, <laughs> y'all know how bad the saying that. Yeah. Get over there. They, they tear your butt up. And mm -hmm. if you're not used to them, they're going to make you wet like okra. You know, if you if okra touch your skin, like when you clip okra, cut okra, you cut okra. Mm -hmm. uh, we have yeah. to wear long sleeves because they make you rope. I mean, it leave whelps on you. Anybody, anybody in the trap yeah. that's ever from the South or cut okra, Never mind. <laughs>